Are y'all telling me that the guy that wrote the book on not discharging their bankruptcies, he wrote it, he, he helped support it in 2005 and making sure that y'all couldn't get rid of y'all bankruptcies and, and bankrupt, y'all, y'all student loans and bankruptcy court. And now he's doing it as far as making sure that he's doing it through other people, as far as challenging and appealing a decision that was made through a judge, a she, her decision, and he bamboozled y'all and he told y'all during his election that he was going to get something done. And now he ain't made a word. He don't care how much y'all protest. He don't care how much you complain about it. You can write as many letters as you want. At the end of the day, Joe supported and rocked with legislation that prevented y'all from being able to write off y'all student loans and bankruptcy. And y'all fell for the okie doke and you still rocking with this. That's your fault. Your boy Biden, shout out to Biden, according to Business Insider, a judge approved a $100,000 student loan forgiveness for a 35-year-old man who filed for bankruptcy, but Biden's education secretary just took the first step to block that action. Y'all thought that Biden was for y'all? Let me look at y'all in y'all eye. Did you really think uh, Uncle Joe had your back when he said that he was his objective was to forgive what fifty thousand dollars in student loans he passed that on to congress he he gave that to navient he made sure listen i'm just telling you what the business insider article said the first thing that i seen when i uh, rolled up this morning is biden's educa education secretary took the first step to block that action now i have a theory i have a theory of why he did it, but let's go ahead and get to the get to the quick hit. Just a quick hit. Uh, two weeks ago, Ryan Wolfson. Let me go ahead and close that out. Two weeks ago, Ryan Wolfson achieved a rare feat in court. Now, I will I will, for the sake of conversation, share my ignorance. To my knowledge, the two things that you really cannot get a, get away from when it comes to bankruptcy is a student loans. And B, what you owe to IRS. Now, I could be wrong on that. Again, I'm open to the possibility that I'm wrong. I don't know everything, but I'm just going to tell you what it is that I think. To my knowledge, the two things that you truly cannot get away from in bankruptcy is student loans and what you owe to the IRS. Because there would be a ton of people filing bankruptcy immediately. So I could be wrong about that, but let me go ahead and tackle this. Two weeks ago, Ryan Wolfson achieved a rare feat in court, a successful elimination of his nearly $100,000 student debt load through bankruptcy. I did not know that it, that was even possible. Didn't even know it was possible, right? A successful elimination of his $100,000 in student debt load. Um, but Biden, but the Biden administration might be standing in the way of the 35-year-old's relief. Hmm. Daily Post first reported on Wednesday that the Justice Department last week filed a notice of appeal. They went through, they was watching this guy's bankruptcy case. When it came to the getting rid of that student loan, the Justice Department was like, nah, get over here. Justice Department says, nah, not this time. They filed a notice of appeal on behalf of Education Secretary Miguel Cardona. I wonder what race Miguel is. Um, in the case of Wolfson versus DeVos, specifically, Wolfson said he struggled to find a full time job after graduating college in 2010 and nine years later when working full time for ride hailing services. Now, he had a seizure and totaled his car. Now, we don't like to hear bad news as far as people having seizures and totaling their car. All right. But the fact that this man graduated college and could not get a full-time job within nine years is insane to me. What was his degree in? Let me guess. Underwater basket weaving? I have no clue. I have not read this article yet, but we're going to continue. The judge says Wolfson was diagnosed with treatable, non-debilitating non epilepsy. When he was 12 and that after being on medication for about a decade, he switched to medical cannabis for safer, safer long-term treatment option. Did that just say that right? The judge says, let me reread this. 
The judge says Wolfson pr- approved undue hardship. Okay, so let me let me back that up a little bit. Let me back that up a little bit. Diagnosed with treatable. <laughs> Hold on, let me look at this. All right. Treatable non-debilitating epilepsy is what he was diagnosed with when he was 12 and that after being on medication for about a decade, he switched to medical cannabis as a safer long-term treatment option. Did I miss something? I just wanted to reread that to make sure we was all on the same page. AL says Biden is the person who wrote the law against getting filing uh, student loan debt and bankruptcy. Of course, it's, I did not know that, AL. Listen, if that is true, that is insane that he wrote the law and then he's telling you guys that he's going to forgive you. That is crazy. Shout out to AL for the super chat. All right, so listen. The judge ruled that Wolfson proved undue hardship, a standard that needs to be met for a bankruptcy discharge and moved to eliminate Wolfson's entire Student debt load. That is crazy. The evidence shows that despite considerable effort, Wolford Wolfson has been chronically un or underemployed since graduating from college, that his sporadic full-time employment has consisted of a low-paying way, low-paying gig work or jobs with little prospect of advancement. Whose fault is that? And that he has avoided living in abject poverty only through significant financial support from his father so are you telling me that this grown man went to college graduated couldn't get a job and then he he's dependent on his father still hmm the judge wrote in her opinion ah i see the problem here i see the problem here let's continue the record further shows that Wolfson's career prospects are unlikely to materially improve over time, and thus his inability to pay a student loan debt will, per- will persist. Y'all see that caveat in there? Her decision. But on Friday, Cardona appealed that decision. So, long story short, the Justice Department, on behalf of Joe Biden, according to Business Insider, did not like the precedent that this was setting as far as him getting his student loans discharged through bankruptcy. He said, listen, you went to go to school to get that underwater basket weaving degree and you paid a hundred thousand dollars for it. You put the effort in effort into getting it. I need you to own this. Shh. I need you to own this. Shh. <laughs> Shout out to Biden. Um, but on Friday, Cardona appealed that decision that could leave Wolfson saddled with debt with student debt he cannot afford to pay off. Dan Zybo, the vice president and chief counsel at Student Defense, an organization that advocates for borrower protections, expressed disappointment in the education department's decision. Well, what did you guys expect was going to happen? Did you really think that these promises that Uncle Joe said that he wanted to emphasize and share with you guys, he said, listen, I want to get you guys out, and I think that everybody, listen, immediately, day one, we need to make sure that we get this thing taken care of, and you thought that he was going to work on your behalf. Joe just said, he just told y'all, Joe just told y'all the other day, he said, listen, y'all going to have to do y'all part and prepare to pay back these God dogs through loans. We didn't push them back. Now, we need our money, and we want it now. Let's continue. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Easing the burden on student loan borrowers and bankruptcy has support across the political spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What this means for student loan borrowers. All right. As a senator, you are absolutely right, AL. As a senator, Biden was one of the lawmakers who supported the 2005 Bankruptcy Abuse Prevention and Consumer Protection Act, which established stricter standards a borrower must meet to get rid of their loans through bankruptcy. Ah, so wait a minute. Are you telling me? Let me let me see what y'all talking about. Are y'all telling me that the guy that wrote the book on not discharging their bankruptcies, he wrote it, he he helped support it in 2005 and making sure that y'all couldn't get rid of y'all bankruptcies and, and bankrupt y'all y'all student loans and bankruptcy court. And now 
He's doing it as far as making sure that he's doing it through other people, as far as challenging and appealing a decision that was made through a judge, a she, her decision. And he bamboozled y'all and he told y'all during his election that he was going to get something done. And now he ain't made a word. He don't care how much y'all protest. He don't care how much you complain about it. You can write as many letters as you want. At the end of the day, Joe supported and rocked with legislation that prevented y'all from being able to write off y'all student loans and bankruptcy. And y'all fell for the okie doke and you still rocking with this. That's your fault. This is your fault. I don't want to hear nothing about it. I don't want to hear nothing about it. AL was absolutely right. I never even knew that that was going to come through. Hmm. Specifically, it created an undue hardship standard that Wolfson attempted to meet in which the borrower cannot maintain a minimum standard of living. Thus, their circumstances will likely not improve and they made a good, good faith effort in repaying the debt. Since that bill ha was signed in a law, many borrowers have struggled to meet the standards, which is why Wolfson's case was significant. The judge wrote in her opinion that courts have been too strict in their interpretations of undue hardship. The Education Department said last year they would be working to revise bankruptcy protections. But if the Biden administration moves forward with the appeal, it is unlikely the majority of student loan borrowers will have success in the court. So are you telling me that Joe is throwing rocks and hiding his hands? Did y'all fall for the okie doke? I wonder how many people were so enamored with and they was trying to understand, hey, if you're not black, then you're not. If you're not voting for me, then you're not black. How many of y'all fell into that rope? How many of y'all were so concerned about political spectrums and social media and, and uh, all of this other bull crap? And I'm, listen, I'm not even talking about Republican versus Democrat. I'm saying that y'all could have made a better selection on the Democratic side as far as who it is that you wanted to even elect in the first place. We not even talking about the. I got to finish this quick hit. I got to finish this quick hit really quick. Um, <laughs> in July, Rep. Stephen Cohen, Danny Davis and Eric Swalwell introduced the Private Student Loan Bankruptcy, uh, Bankruptcy Fairness Act which would treat private student loans the same as other uh, forms of private debt, easing the process for the bankruptcy discharge. Student loan debt follows you to your grave. Our bi bipartisan bill finally gives student loan bar. Yeah, whatever. Y'all know that crap ain't gonna pass. They bamboozling y'all and they hitting y'all with the okie doke. But again, I am so confused. Shout out to AL for being on top of that. I did not know that that was gonna come in. Alexander says, didn't he create this three strike rule? Y'all let me know. Y'all the ones that's been rocking with it. Y'all the ones that's been supporting him. I want y'all to own that jump. I want y'all to own it all the way across the board. Jonathan <laughs> JP said, shout out to the goofy black women who thought they were accomplishing something by voting for Biden. <laughs> <laughs> JB. Hey, JB is turning into Thanos. JB is a celestial. JB is about to overtake me on, on the Thanos mode. AL says literally everyone was better than him. And they still rocked with him. And you know what else they did, AL? You know what else they did? They fell for the buy, uh, for the uh, Obama endorsement. So shout out to Sleepy Joe. Uh, he absolutely did the rug pull from y'all. And you fell for it. You should own it. That comes back to you.